on the shore, Abel, and let us sing, He touched me. take a moment to share with one another as Christ's extended family the, the wonderful blessings that God has bestowed upon us this week as well as those concerns, those burdens that are weighing on our hearts. Uh, does anyone have any joys or concerns they'd like to share with us this week? Yes, Caroline. Your cousins in Georgia? Yeah, joy to visit cousins in Georgia, yes. Uh, you're going for eye surgery, Ziggy? Yeah, I would be. So, I remember my wife had the same thing a couple of years ago, and so, yeah, I understand, <laughs> certainly. But yes, prayers for Ziggy, she has got eye surgery coming up, and yes, that can be a very nerve-wracking kind of thing. It, it really is, it is. Yes. I'd like to pray for my brother-in-law, Ron Clemens. He's a Vietnam vet and is going through some difficulties. Uh -huh. um, one is he's losing his balance. They've already removed the tumor from his brain. Uh -huh. and they will be checking him out later this month, but he has other issues. Also. Yes, okay, so prayers for Ron Clemens. Yeah. Okay, prayers for Ron. And uh, Yes, Kim. Prayers for Caroline's husband, Josh Andrews, as he leaves for Okinawa tomorrow. And he'll be gone for two years, so safe travel and yes. for all that good stuff. Yes. Prayers for safe travel to Okinawa. Yes, that's uh, quite the assignment. Yeah. So it is. So. Yeah. Fran. So prayers for Fran's daughter, Karen, who's having some lung problems, lung cancer, collapsed lung. And her birthday is tomorrow, too, so uh, well, she's going to be in the hospital, and that's a sad thing, sad thing indeed. And prayers for Fran as well, as she deals with the pressures that are involved with this. This is quite a terrible thing to go through. Anyone else? Yes, April. Uh, Thank you. 
Okay. So you said the McDowell family? Yes. yes, prayers for the McDowell family, and their son who just had a, a bone marrow and stem cell transplant. That's a very extensive thing. I remember my aunt going through something like that many, many years ago, and it was still very experimental. Uh, they've gotten much better at it now, uh, much more, much higher success rate, but still it's a very painful experience to have to go through. Yes, anyone else? Yes. Oh, Marilyn. Six thousand. Wow, that's great for Holly. It is wonderful. That's wonderful. She decided on a school yet. I think it's going to be New England College because uh -huh. uh, the other one is at Chris Rice's uh, Yeah, New England College. Well, this will help immensely. Yes, yes, it will. It will. Has she picked a major yet? She's still, still working on it. You don't usually have to pick one your freshman year anyway. No, so. Much yeah. Okay. That's good. But she got a, an award for uh, anatomy. And Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, so, you see, psychiatry is a booming field now. It pays well. It just helps to help people somehow, yeah. yeah. some way. Sure. So. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Wonderful. So Lori's dad, Lori's dad is doing better, still in the hospital, but maybe discharged by the end of the week. Well, praise God for that. That's wonderful. Yes. Um, today is Dick's birthday. I oh. hope he was going to come, but when he got up, he his main problem is he's been sleeping and he has a scramble, and so uh -huh. it's, uh, um, he's eighty-two, and I'm thankful that I've had him back this long, and, and hope to be longer. Oh, pizza always scrambles my brain, but yeah, no. <laughs> but yes, well, happy birthday to Dick anyway, and pass that along to him for all of us, and, and we'll be, uh, we do miss him, so, you know, anytime he is feeling up to it, we're always happy to see him, so that's great. Yes? Uh, my mother continues to do very well, so thank her blessings, and just in place she's retired from everybody, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, she must be doing better than yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> Good. Yeah, well, it's wonderful to have friends visit. It really is. And glad to hear your mom's doing good. So. And Marilyn again. Yeah. Uh, today is also my Oh, that's right. Yes, it is. It's Mark's birthday. I remember I saw that Facebook this morning. Yes. Um, and I'd like to ask Dick for continued prayers for his and Bo, for Condo, where they are, uh -huh. and come up this way so that we can sure. be with family again. It'll happen. It just takes time. So, what did you say? Be patient, right? Isn't that what you were saying? Be patient? Yes. Okay. For your, your friend's brother and prayers for how for moving, you said? Outspoken. Out, outspoken, yes, okay. Outspoken, yes. Any, yes, Nori. Last week I was sad when I sent off my niece to Singapore, but that was Tuesday night. Wednesday evening I uh, pick up my sister from Philippines. My youngest sister is going to be with me for, for one month. Okay, so she's my assistant. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. When you get tired of her, give me a call. <laughs> we'll find a way to bail you out. <laughs> yes? Uh, we need to keep our country in prayer with so much anger and hate and bitterness going on here and all over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah, 
you went to general conference right now. <laughs> but yes, no, there is a, there's a great deal of, of division in, in our country today, and, and uh, there's a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of anger and frustration, and for some folks, there doesn't seem to be a good way out of it, and so we need to, uh, to keep them in prayer uh, that uh, God will open everyone's hearts and minds to seeing a better way for all of us. Yes, in the back. to that yes so prayers for our graduating students because they will change the world so we messed it up they're gonna fix it so there you go no, you're good. I would just like to lift up one prayer of Thanksgiving to the Lord for uh, Challenger baseball uh, Jacob got to join the Challenger Little League Baseball League this season and, and he had a great time and I was really blessed with this, this wonderful opportunity to work with all of these kids with, with disabilities and their families and just getting out there on the ball field and hitting the ball around and chasing the ball and catching the ball and throwing the ball. It was just, you know, it's, it's things like that that when you do things like that, that it rejuvenates you. You just, just feel like even though the world around you is falling apart, go out and do something charitable and it really makes a difference. It really does. Well, let's come together in a word of prayer. Holy and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. We have a great deal of concerns on our hearts this day, people who are suffering from various health problems, people who have been injured, people who see the news, who see our government, and all of the tension and all the conflict that is there and the stress that it puts on all of our hearts. But Lord, we also thank you for those blessings that you bestowed upon us this week. We, we thank you for the safe travel of friends and family. We thank you for the wonderful opportunity that we have to, to be blessed by their presence. We thank you for the, the wonderful gifts that you have given us providing for our needs in our day-to-day -day lives. Help us to remember that you are always there with us, that you are truly omnipresent, that you are omniscient, that you understand what our needs, what our joys, what our blessings are, and that you will continue to provide for all of those things for us. Give us the confidence that comes with faith as we pray to you, the way your son taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now let us turn to one another and pass Christ's peace one another in the name of the Lord.
Christ invites us to his table, all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and to one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven.
is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night, on the night in which he gave himself for us, Jesus took the bread. He gave thanks for it. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take Eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, Jesus took the cup. He gave thanks for it, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of my new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. For out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here, and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, now and forever. We are one body. We are all invited to the table of love and reconciliation. Come, all you who are loved by God, come to the table of the Lord. Come and eat and drink with no cost. Come.
Let us pray. Eternal God, we give thanks to you this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us all stand and sing our last hymn. I've got peace like a river. Kids. From this place and carry with you the courage, the strength, the love from Jesus Christ to everyone. <laughs> 